All right, guys, welcome back to Banisher's Ghost of New Eden once again. Thankfully, we're still playing this game. And I'm very, very grateful for this game. This is so good. And uh, yeah, I'm really loving Red's new armor. Really like this look. I said, I still think it's real Dalmatian, though. I still think it's been carved off the carcass of a dead dog. But it still looks good. You know, small sacrifices. Now I'm going to do a very boring thing at the beginning of this episode, which is basically what I've been told to do. Rest at the shelter. Now after the Inkwell mission, I'm wondering if we'll get a, a few visions of, of what just happened. Do you remember after we finished the uh, the Kate episode? With, with What was her name? Cl was it Clar... Clar no, I want to say Clements. Clements. Where uh, we had this sort of flashback to what happened with with Kate, sister of of the other one. Can't remember her name. Um, I'm wondering if we're going to get a similar thing here when we exactly. take the rest. Can tell. Of course you can. Aren't you angry? I'm more disgusted. Disgusted by what we saw down there. By the sins Fairfax Haskell committed in the name of his god. I hope they'll burn in hell. For that I hate myself. I still think we made the right choice there. Fairfax Haskell, an easy soul to banish towards Antea's resurrection, of course. Nothing can stand between us, Antea would say, or don't lose yourself. I like the second comment that's covered that. Don't lose yourself. You've done far more than I could ever have asked. I'll do what it takes, and gladly. You need not ask it. The closer we get to my body, to the truth about what happened here, the stronger I feel, my senses rise. It's as if I can taste the silence, smell the scent of wood smoke, feel the warmth of your body, feel Deborah's wrath. I feel it as if it were my own. I know her rage, but that anger of mine, that fear, I thought when I left home, I'd left them behind. Yeah, my bad. It's Deborah. Deborah is the woman I was trying to rem remember the name of a moment ago. Um, so read the past is the past, or but oh, I left my home. I left them behind by becoming a banisher. Or well, the past is the past. I always like that. Past is the past. No regrets. Live in the present. Past is the past. You still get to choose your future. Times like this, old wounds can ache. Seems normal. It's not just that. I thought I'd healed. I feel like I've taken ten steps backwards. So much so that the sister I thought was gone for good seems to be winding her way back to me. Your sister. Ayomi Day, wasn't it? No. As a child, before I left Cuba, I had a friend. I chose to call her my sister. That night, the night I died, I dreamed of her. I dreamed of Calendre. So she's from Cuba? I don't know if we knew that up until now. I actually knew a guy whose mother was from Iceland and whose father was from Cuba. We used to call him an ice cube. <laughs> so sorry. I'm so sorry. That was dreadful. I know. Let's move on. Was it a dream? Are you sure it was a dream? Is that why you left the schoolhouse without me? Yes. It must have been a dream. She wasn't there. I mean, how could she have been there? But I heard her voice. I'd swear on it. How could that be? Dreams are vivid. Then, oh, the nightmare. Oh, it could have been. The nightmare, perhaps? I don't think so. The nightmare felt close. This felt like it came from further away, as if from a different realm of being altogether. What did you hear her say? I don't know. I don't remember. I think she said we were family, never to be divided. She's after my job. She can't have it. I'm your family now. Nothing's tearing us apart. No, not even death. Still angry? Gloriously. 
seriously angry. Oh, we got a new upgrade, a new skill, and a massive skill tree to come with it. I'm glad I saved my points. Ensnare. Antea can alter the veil's fabric around a target and restrain it. Efficient against creeping ivy. Oh, creeping ivy, thank the lord. Finally, we can deal with that stuff. Red can destroy the lesser spectres hidden inside its buds. In combat, Antea can catch her foes in an ethereal web. Dealing a small amount of damage, hit an enemy affected by ensnare, reduces weaving effect duration. Right, that didn't mean much to me. So this ensnare manifestation has been unlocked after the consumption of the essence, soaking the powerful tie of a nightmare's vengeful avatar. Those were the red blobby messes that we were messing with in the, in the cave beneath this town. So... We get these out of the box. Oh no, we don't. Okay, hitting an enemy with a rifle stock. I've still not ever done that. When red is hit, increase the damage of the next heavy attack by 100%. Right, we're having that one. Uh, what do we got here? Damage dealt by red is increased by 20%, but damage taken is increased by 10 That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. And we haven't got another red path to follow. I think I'll save my final one. So, we have a new skill, people. We're level 15. This is going well. Well, we can afford an upgrade here for the... the punching. Oh, this is the top level. It's a relic upgrade. Banishing increases the damage of the next punch attack by 250%. Holy crap, there you go, a perfect tool. Upgrade an item at rank seven. Defeating an enemy with a punch attack reduces the next damage taken by 90%. So these are all great upgrades. Over this one. Nice. Punch damage up, health, persistence. It's all good. I think Antea's got the most powerful of the skills. That's it. So what next? That was a, a, a sort of an epilogue to the last short story. As I've said before, this whole game is a collection of short stories beautifully done. Ceridian? Uh, what do you mean, Ceridian? Ceridian, what's wrong? I don't think she can hear us. We need to go back to the swamps. You understand that? But it's a bird. It's Ceridian, by way of the invisible, speaking through the crow. Pity it doesn't work both ways. Imagine having a conversation with someone far away. So, we can talk to crows now. Now let's see if we can fast travel. Where, where did they say? Go back to the swamps. Oh. Wait a minute. I didn't even click on fast travel. And this is exactly you feel where it? we need to be. I have goosebumps. The veil is tearing at the seam. If I bruise the bud so the spectres inside show themselves, you could shoot them. Once freed, the ivy should quickly wither. And there we go. Antea may ensnare the core of a creeping ivy to restrain it. This will force the wisps hidden inside its buds to reveal themselves for a short period of time. Red can destroy all of the wisps before the core is released in order to get rid of the creeping ivy. So it's, it's, it's a complicated affair. Oh, I think we have to do that again. I gotcha. I think. Oh, we've got to shoot that as well. Actually, there it is. It. Okay, so it's not a simple destroy thing. You've got to catch those orbs as well. Well, there you go. Now we know. In combat, Antea can temporarily ensnare her foes in an ethereal web. Hold L2 to charge and aim the ensnare projectile. But, well, before we do that... Desecrate this body. Strange times to come. One day to come. Soon enough... 
I'll order you to find a man unconscious by the shore. I already asked. I may again. These will be strange times, my dearest, so you must be ready. Times of sadness and mourning through the courses of weird suns and moons in the sky. Frozen days in the eerie and cold air of a long-lasting winter. Repetitions of events you already lived. Unpleasant feeling of suspended time, endless days and weeks. I would not dare to claim I fully know how or why this will happen. They are so many mysteries which elude me. For the better good, I suppose. When these times will come, be ready. Again, for the unbalance will be strong. Even the dead may come back from a future you already faced. And it will be our task to restore the balance again. Well, that is a cryptic message if ever I've read one. And I used to do cryptic crossword puzzles. Now that says a lot. We can get to that ivy from the other side. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Now we just have the to wards find. have weakened. Ceridian's power wanes. The wards have weakened. Oh, that wasn't a ward. The wards have weakened. Ceridian's power wanes. We just said that. These aren't wards. I thought they were for a minute. About a minute. Oh, there's the crow. That's Ceridian again. So she has the, the gift of transmutation. And obviously flight. I have no idea what to expect. In this episode, but I'm going to have to circle back around so we can sort out these... These weeds. Right. That wasn't it. I had the right idea. We're not there. Hmm. I was thinking. No, so we've got to somehow activate this this root. Oh, it's here. Get around. Uh, come on, come on, come on. I don't know if there's a timer on that. That was definitely the way forward. You know, I'd almost fancy my own garden. There we go. Trust me, you don't want a garden. All right, we're in. That's the same place we just were. So, uh, completely. Wasted time. We can now get into that section. Just got to drop down the cave again. Ugh. I should have just gone back the way I came. It looked to me like the only thing down there was a chest. But we shall see. It's a lot of fun, this game. I, I know that a couple of you have, have decided to buy it, play it. Uh... Since you watched this um, playthrough, so um, that really makes me happy. That's kind of why I do this sometimes. It's, like, it's a game you might not have even checked out. This one seems to have surprised a lot of people. Okay, that is done. Our next target is over there somewhere. There we walk on the frozen lake. Mm, I'll pass. So we're inside the circle. What are we looking for here? Hmm. Just to find Cyrodiil. Do we just follow the crow? I can feel it. Got to be over here. Some area of. Uh... Ah. Guarded by a magical invisible oh, barrier. Where could they be? Indeed. Where could they be? Hmm. I don't think we're going to get in any luck in this building. 
Oh, this is going to be an annoying one, isn't it? I'm going to be wandering around here for days. And you don't have to suffer. Thanks to the power of video editing. Head towards the crows. Oh, there's plenty of them. Crows. They flock to that great tree up there. Which one would you call great? I mean, all trees are great. I'm presuming you mean the big one. Ah, there you are. Not Cyridean, possibly is Cyridean. The banishers are here. This is Sika. Already? How unfortunate. You called us. Did I? I thought I had more time. In the end, it runs out for all of us. As I depart this old carcass, I leave no burning heart behind. Go or stay. To prevail, you must first set your heart at peace. When at last you face the nightmare, you must both be clear on what you want. You must... What do you mean? It is not for me to give you answers. Only to prepare you for what awaits. Then we can all go to sleep. Seeker doesn't hate you, Rory. She's just not used to being trusted. No. Oh. Protect her. For me. Oh, God. I swear, Seeker and Cyridean, they, they are the same person in different timelines, aren't they? That's got to be the way it is. Oh, what a beautifully disgusting creature. You're too late, old moss head, as ever. Kicks hard. We're going for this. I'm hoping it works. Yeah, we got him trapped. That works pretty well. Okay, yeah, I've got it. Army. Army first. What happened there? I was going for the, the heavy attack. Nothing happened. Do you, do you consider this an army? I mean, it's pretty pathetic. Technically, they've hardly got any arms. Alright, big fella. Get back down on the ground. This time. Oh, you dodgy bugger. Alright, well, we, we missed that one. Have this one instead. Oh, 
Alright, that kind of worked, but I uh, took a little damage. Looks like Red's gonna have to get in dead. Oh! That was disappointing. Headshots are good. Move. And there's me. Alright, come on then. of them. Jack, I can't count. It's just five, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, alright, just pretend that didn't happen. I did dodge, just didn't happen. Ah. Uh. Yeah, alright, it does no help. Does no help? Does no damage is what I actually meant to say. Or spray. Alright, at least these guys aren't completely ruining my game plan. Because I had one. I can help. Yeah, it's alright, Antero. I'm trying to build you up. So you can let me down. Alright, just the one left. And then the big fella returns. Okay. There you are. Oh, that was such a bad shot. The trouble with trying to go for headshots is it's so easy to miss. Alright, come on in. Now, I've got a feeling. He's just going to transmute into something bigger and scarier. Oh. It's kind of working. It's kind of working. Oh, he's nearly done. I'm going to banish. Do it. Good night. Ariadne's threat. Why am I focused on that part of the room? Okay, it's alright. It was a glitch before the cutscene. They look alike. They look so alike. no more. I'll never drink from your skull now, will they? Another ancient promise broken. But what about me? How do I live now? You're all I ever had, and all I'll ever have. <laughs> Can I set the world on fire now? I just want to see it burn. A pity. Farewell, then.
she took me in with my father. When no one else wanted me. She taught me to stand up straight. Leave her be. For now. Hmm. Ah, oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. I'm sad that she's gone, but there's more to this story than I think that, that has been told so far. Grief and rancor rest at the island's shelter. Now, no doubt, there's some. I feel so sorry for. Alright, <clears throat> let's do as the game tells us. Just gotta figure out how to get there. So we beat the old what's it what did what she call it? Mosshead? Of all this death. Want to talk about it? I will do. That's true. All he seems to experience around him. She'll try to make sense of her pain. Or perhaps she'll sit with it a while. Hmm. I shall try to kill it. Grief knows no rule book. When I returned from the war, I walked the wet streets of London for a long time. All I could feel was my heart digging a hole deep inside my chest. After what I'd seen, what I had done, I just wanted the pain to stop. I wanted oblivion. The ghosts were killing you or you hit rock bottom. I would go with the top one. It sounds more... empathetic. Your ghosts were killing you. They almost pushed you to insanity. But you pulled through. I let myself be drowned. You're the one who pulled me out. Poetic, if melancholic. What's going on, Red? I feel lost. I can't even stand myself. I can barely stand it. Look at you. Something eats me from within. And it's growing. I don't know what's happening. I'm scared. I scare me too. I am untethered from the world. But through you, I still feel like myself. I cling to this. The closer we get to my return, the further from life I feel. I care nothing for the living. I only care for what I can take from them. Do you feel that way about me too? No, of course not. What are we doing? We're reclaiming our world. The only way we can. Are you sure this is what you want? We made an agreement. Are you having second thoughts? I don't know. Maybe. Ceridian's death has changed things for you. Yeah. She had power, purpose. She had love and she still chose to leave. Maybe she's right. Should we reconsider? It may not be too late to change our minds, but you must promise me, Red, whatever we decide, we stick to it. We cannot change our minds again. Oh, oh God, stop. I swear to pause it. stop pausing. Why is my my controller keeps disconnecting? I'm so sorry. I ruined the immersion. Get it, my love. This is it. Oh, because I know, see what they're doing here. We have to swear to a, try to a, try to ascend and tear. 
or resurrect her. And after all of these missions, all these mini stories, which are wonderful, they are forcing us or maybe giving us a chance to choose a different path. Now, I know there are different endings to this game. I don't think there's many, like three or four. And I imagine this, obviously, this is a critical moment. I'm not imagine. It's clearly a critical moment. They're saying, we can't choose again. And if we can, we'll find out as we play. I still want to choose to resurrect Antea. Not for me, but for Red and Antea. That seems to be what they both want. But me, the third party in this, is really struggling with thinking that this is still a good idea. I'm not saying it's not, but I've now started questioning it. When I was first offered this choice, oh, clearly, they're in love. Bring Antea back. How, how sad is it she's gone? But after watching all of these different people, all these different characters, try to, well, in some stories, actually literally try to resurrect the dead, and it, 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 it just caused more pain and hurt and misery. Is this really the right choice? However, I'm thinking about these two here and their choices and their thoughts and their emotions. I think resurrection is what Red and Anteo both want so they can be together again. So that's why I'm choosing this. But there's a warning. It might not go the way we think. Red swears he will help Antea come back to life once they retrieve her body from New Eden's meeting house to keep this oath. Red will have to sacrifice as many settlers as possible with a blame ritual. <sighs> as many as possible. So where we've done a few up until now, as we've felt it go, we've got to just sacrifice them all. I mean, I hope they've all done bad things. This one, Red swears he will help Antea's ghost peacefully leave the world once they retrieve her body. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go with the resurrection. I think that's what these guys both want, but it is going to mean some dark and difficult choices. Let's go. I want this. I want this, only real. I want to be with you in the flesh. Our minds are set. We're going back. Thank you. Thank me when you're back. I'd be very interested to know what that conversation sounded like if we'd chosen the other. looks concerned, like he's not sure. Maybe he's feeling my... my doubts. Is it worse to lose your faith in your fathers than it is to lose faith in yourself? Oh, the upside down. Those in the harrows who lived would be wise to look inwards, to reflect, and then to pay penance. But none carry a greater burden than young Lamentation Haskell. How will he guide the faltering faithful when he has so little faith in himself? New trophy. Final promise. Reaffirm your oath. Okay, we got a trophy just for choosing the same thing we already did. New haunting cases have manifested in New Eden. Once you leave your shelter, open the map to view the location. Got it. Well, we aren't going to fast travel. I don't. Well, I don't think we're going to fast travel. Let's let's leave this location and do exactly what they said. Grief, what did that say grief? Hang on a minute. The grief and rancor go to Fort Jericho. But there are new quests elsewhere. New Eden. 
Well, we're not there yet. So, that's not it. Looks like we have to head up to Fort Jericho. We've got a few events along the way. I have the, oh, Scourge Ritual Site. What if I tried? Did I try that one? It was really difficult. Okay, I think I'm going to fast travel, and I'm tempted to sort of... Oh, hang on a minute. We've got some side quests here. Haunting case available in the Harrows. <gasps> oh, we got more stuff in the Harrows to do. Okay, hold on. I'm going back. I love these stories, and I want to do more of them. Oh, look at that. There's more over here as well. Back in the dark woods. A haunting case. Reward essence. Reward essence. Oh, this is going to be the difficult choices. This is where we're at now, I think. Where do we do the harrows? Is there even a re there's even a haunting case in the middle of the cloud, middle of the fog. We've got one or two more over here. Let's go back to the hunters' camp then. It's been a while. Now, I'm not going to do this case today, but I, I, I'm at least going to place us in the location where we where we do pick it up. <clears throat> well, here we go. And of course, returning to some of these older locations means there'll be collectibles, discoverables, for want of a better word. Uh, okay, we're right here. What is that? Oh, is haunted that house. Why did I never Shall see we? this before? Home lies where the heart lies. All right, we have a new case, and we will start that in the next episode. Sorry, it's a little shorter than maybe some of the other ones, but uh, I've run out of time to record today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to this. A load of sideies. I'll see you in the next part. Take care, all the best, and good night.